Good morning, good morning. It's me and Oscar today. Say hello. <laughs> He's not a fan of the YouTube. Lauren is heading over to Worcestershire to pick up some furniture for our nan. My parents are driving down to Kent to visit family. So I'm on babysitting duty. Before we get into anything though, let's talk about this playlist. A few of you have been leaving comments in the previous vlogs mentioning that I need to get a playlist together for our future road trips and that I should put the suggestion out to you guys. So now is your opportunity. Leave your comments for your best songs for the road down below and we'll get a playlist put together for our first road trip. As for today though, I've had a haircut. I forgot to mention, yeah, I've chopped it all off. Getting a bit hot. Every now and again I just chop it short to re refresh. But today, I need to take some measurements, head over to Wizbeach to pick up uh, bits and bobs. I don't know how I'm going to do this vlog. Probably going to piece it together over the next few days. But the mission is to pick up the rest of the wood to finish off all the interior and also get some fabric for covering up the seating. What's that? You haven't been in the camper yet, have you? New camper van. Hop. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready to go camping, Osk? Good boy. Okay, so mission for today, which I've already measured, is to find some wood to run all the way along the floor in and cover the gap at the bottom. Also find some wood that just hangs off here and covers this little gap here. And also need a long strip of quadrant just to fill these little gaps and tidy it all up before painting. We also need one, two, three, four meter squared of fabric, which I've been stressing about all morning as I'm still not sure what color we're going with. And finally, if I can, I'm going to measure out and pick up the tongue and groove to just bring this panel out a bit further to run it flush and pick up the tongue and groove for the back door there. So we're going to head out in mum's car for the day, me and little Oscar, because Oscar's a bit used to it. And see what we can find, I ask. You're not really interested today, are you Oscar, in the vlog? Ready for the day? Okay, let's go. Okay, so first stop, it's actually a really cool idea. Um, my gran passed away in January. And when we were clearing out her flat, this was the only thing I wanted to keep. It doesn't look much at the minute, but it's an old leather puff that I used to sit on when I was a child and watch EastEnders and, and eat homemade chips of my grandma. So I kept this, uh, pulled all the stuffing out, and unfortunately the zip's broken. So I'm going to run it to an alteration place. And I just thought the colour is perfect to go in the camper van and it'll be a nice little touch to, uh, yeah, take a bit of gran around with us. All right, mission accomplished, man. Shout out to Mary Burns, bless her. 14 pounds, you're gonna replace the zip. Seems like a pretty tough job because there's stitches everywhere and it's full leather, but pick it up in a week. Okay, next stop is the fabric. I've just pulled up at Dunelm. I've been looking online at like uh, Pinterest, van life stuff for all morning, trying to figure out the color scheme. It's very hard to envision when the van isn't painted white yet, but I was looking at our boat and I'm thinking like a beige or a, or a gray color uh, without spending too much money. So let's see what we can find. It's like the wood flooring all over again. Where do I even start? Okay, so I've narrowed it down to these two. I've got this Henley fabric, which is like a beige colour, £15 a metre. Or this feather fabric, £10 a metre. Almost like a light grey. I'm definitely caught in what we call a catch-22 here. Uh, I'm kind of glad Mum and Lauren aren't with me because this is one of their favourite shops and we, it would definitely take a little longer than expected. But if they were here with me, they would definitely help me make a decision a bit easier. Okay, I'm going for it. Cheaper one. <laughs> Light grey. I'm sure we'll be able to match it with the interior. See, this is what happens when you come to stores like Dunelm. I've caught the female syndrome. I've ended up looking at hot water bottles and you just end up seeing things that you think, yeah, I could do with one of them, the camper. All right, final stop. We've pulled up at Wix and it's time to find the finishing pieces of wood so that hopefully we can touch up all them little spots and then get onto painting. Okay, so we need a piece of quadrant that'll do. So what I was going to do is get like a piece of 3x2 for the floor in, uh, a little piece of flashing for underneath the sink and then obviously buy all the tongue and groove to do the back wall and the side there. After measuring up the tongue and groove I'm going to have to get three of these nine centimetre whips packs anyway and at just seven pound a pack that's what 21 pound I'm figuring I can just use the leftover to finish off the whole rest of the van. All right mission accomplished Successful day all round. We've done 30 pound on seating fabric, which will easily cover that area. 21 pound on tongue and groove, which hopefully will finish off the whole van. And about four pound on a piece of quadrant to cover the gaps. And of course, seven pound on a hot water bottle. So a solid morning, done about 60 pound 
uh, to finish the whole interior, apart from obviously bedding and paint. Nice one, Oscar. You've been a great help, mate. Good boy. So me and Oscar are gonna switch off now, go and have a lad's day, go for a big walk, cook a bit of dinner, and chill out. And I'll pick this up probably tomorrow morning. All right, straight back into it. Got Dad back on the tools, and we're gonna run battens down here to start with today to try and get the tongue and groove matching out so it's level. And we're just gonna tidy up the little gap where the door handle goes in the process. Time to tongue and groove. Okay, so we've got near to the bottom of the tongue and groove and look what has arrived today, literally just in time, our switch panel. So although we've got none of the other electrical stuff, uh, we're gonna build this in now and decisions have to be made. So I was gonna have the light switch and the switch panel up here, but then common sense said that if I'm charging my phone, I don't think I'm gonna have a cupboard here now and obviously everything will just be hanging. So I'm going down the bottom and we're gonna try and get it in now. So that's the back cut, and obviously it'll just sit forward. We've got to cut the fresh bit now. All right, so we've got the switch panel in. Looking good, looking slick. Just got to find a leisure battery now to attach it to. So straight on to the next job today, which we weren't originally expecting to do. But seeing as we're onto the electric, we're going to try and run the cables just to, just to give it a rough idea and just tack it into the roof here so that we're ready for when we come to fit the battery and, uh, and the lights in. So we thread it through there. It will be running. Obviously the back of this is going to come to the battery which will be sat here somewhere once we get a passenger seat. It's just going to run along there, out the top of the chairs, which we'll pull back and then cover it up with felt and then drill through the ceiling. Okay. So we've tucked that up for now until we get the battery and the lights. But that will run along the top of the ceiling there, have a light there, run again around this skylight to another light above the bed and finish at the end there. And then we've got this conduit, which is similar, well, it's actually the same stuff that we use on the narrowboat, which will just go up there and cover the wiring. Dad's turned into an electrician now. Gonna try and replace these just because they look a bit messy. It's not been really patched up very well. Found a couple of these. The old little dim up. So we've got all the gadgets going in. We've got these little 12 volt lights left over from the, one of Dad's old narrow boats. So we're gonna put them on and try and build a little plinth and just tidy it up in the roof so it looks a bit better. So far, so good. <laughs> Quick sand of the edges while Dad cuts the next one. One. Two. Much tidier, so we've got two little lights. They're not the main lights, I don't know if I already said that. They're just the door lights. So when the side door opens, you can flick them on and off. And then what we've done is we've stolen this bit of beading that was covering that gap to finish the floor along the bottom there. And then we can finish the top of the cupboards with the rest of the tongue and groove that we're gonna lay under here and along the floor just to make it all nice and matching. Looking good. So I'm gonna give it a quick tidy up, dust down all the rubbish, and then I guess it's time to sign out. All right, what a day. Not sure what the title of this vlog's gonna be. Just a bit of a bits and bobs day today, but got the tongue and groove finished. So that's all level now. Obviously this different color slightly, but that's all gonna be painted white. Got the box cut for the switch panel. Semi-wired the electrics round to the top there. So we just need to get some lights now and a leisure battery. And tidied up the side door lights, just to give it a bit of a slicker look. Great bit of progress. Got the seats in the fabric waiting to be attacked tomorrow. And got the rest of the tongue and groove in the shed, ready to hit the back doors. So a quick sign out today, because mum's doing dinner and we're gonna be late. But another solid day, man. What do I say? Absolutely buzzing. Buzzing with it all so far. Um, I keep saying we're getting so close to painting, but still got to do the electrics, the lights, little bits and bobs yet, sort out the bedding and the fabric, but we are getting close to painting, guys. 
and I could not be more excited to see the final result of this van. Uh, thanks so much for everyone still tuning in, still commenting and watching every vlog. It's good to hear you're riding this journey out with us. So yeah, shower time. We'll catch you on the next one.